Hello online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. Got my Cobb Tuesday Cobb. Got my Cobb Tuesday cap. Today's Cobb is a Missouri Meerschaum Mark Twain. Why, you may ask, is today's cap not my cowboy hat? Because in my Mark Twain, I have got a bowl of Paredes London Flake. This just seemed a little more, eh, London-y. I'm also drinking a tea called Tower of London, iced, not sweet. Before we get into this blend, little update on the year. I'm just a couple days past two months and this neck crap is driving me crazy. Now, I, I'm told, and I, I read on the, the blogs of places like Beard Brand, uh, you got to power through it. Uh, you need to let that grow so that when you do get it trimmed, they can figure out how your total overall beard is going to lay. It's driving me crazy. It's driving my wife even crazier, <laughs> which kind of makes it worth it, but <laughs> don't tell her that. <laughs> This is good stuff. But yeah, I was thinking about that this morning. Look at that. Oh, man. It's kind of like the old joke about the uh, pirate that walks into the bar and the bartender says, Hey, mate, you, you know you got the ship's wheel sticking out of your pants. He says, Aye, it's driving me nuts. That's this thing. All right. On to the blend and past the bad dad jokes. London Flake. London Flake is a very good Virginia Perique. The first couple of bowls, I didn't like it. And here's where I'm going to say something that some of you are going to vehemently disagree with and others of you might just try it. The first two bowls that I had, I rubbed out. Third bowl. Third bowl, I folded and stuffed. The flavor, completely different. Uh, folks don't believe that sometimes, but here's the thing. When you fold and stuff, instead of rubbing it out, it takes a little longer to get it lit, but it burns slower and cooler. That's where your flavor is. Slow and cool. Now, some of you, some of you can smoke a fully rubbed out blend so slow that you will get maybe the same flavor that I was getting. But when I folded and stuffed this, I finally got a really nice tanginess to it. Um, whatever Red Virginias they're using are not biting me. Um, maybe mixed in well enough with uh, the others. I forget orange orange or something. Um, I'm not getting the, any of the kind of, of grass or citrus flavors that I don't like in Virginia's. Just the tanginess. It's really good. What would I rate this? Tobacco reviews, definitely be a four star. Uh, this is, it, it's very good. From my cellar, for my seller, this is still another three-star blend. Why? Because if I'm going to pay Peretti prices, I'm probably going to get Russ Willett's Firestorm instead, which is a vapor that has dark-fired Kentucky. My favorite overall single component outside of Gawith Hogarth's whatever they do to their Virginias. And if I'm going to go with a bulk, I got to tell you, Luxury Bullseye Flake is still by far my favorite. And it's really, if I'm going to smoke a vapor, that's what I'm going to turn to all the time. So, still only a three for me, mostly because I, I won't buy more of it. This was a wonderful sample from Terry Snarflat Piper. And uh, thank you again. This this really is a very good vapor. Uh, if 
some of you don't have a seller vapor yet and you like a red virginia based variety give this a try it, it really is good for those of you who have hung on this long if you are interested in how i fold and stuff continue otherwise see you tomorrow even for a small bowl like this, this this bowl is just barely thicker than than my pinky. That, that's a pretty small bowl. I folded and stuffed in this. the The easiest way that I have found to do it, and this blend was not a a consistent solid flake. It was a it was broken flakes, more long strands that were clumped together. If you have whole flakes, fold the flake in half vertically the long way first before you fold it in half well fold it in half across the the width not the length so that it's still long and see if one flake how, how much of your bowl that fills up if that fills up roughly just barely less than a half of your of your bowl then you got the right amount for strands of flakes do the same kind of thing pull a few strands together pinch them and and see if that's about half the diameter of your bowl once you've got that amount, now fold it in half the long way. Take the half that's that's the bent over part, stuff that down in your bowl, and twist. Now, what I do is I will twist enough that I can tear off the top eighth of an inch to a quarter inch, and that I will top with some finely rubbed out blend as kindling, just to help get that long the long strands started. You do not want to overpack. When you pack a, 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 a flake, when you're folding and stuffing it, do not tamp down. That twist, that twist will will kind of uh, discombobulate the, the airway around there so that you get nice air pockets um, without it just burning um, uh, directly up. And then the um, that little bit of kindling on top will help you get it lit. For me, it took a long time to uh, to adapt that from what somebody else showed me. And uh, if you have not had success with fold and stuff, you, you might try that. Fold stuff, twist, top. Um, it makes a difference with some blends. I like to do it because even in a small bowl like this, I can get, uh, and usually a cob is a 30 to 45 minute smoke for me. This is gonna be an hour. Um, it, it will last a long time. I, I deliberately stopped pulling on it because I don't want to chooch while I'm talking. I, I'm, I'm going to sit back and, and enjoy this and sip it slowly and just let it burn. But uh, just barely lit. It tastes good that way. But give it a try. Um, it, it isn't easy necessarily to learn how to fold and stuff things. Sometimes it simply is easier uh, to rub it out as an alternative to folding and stuffing it, uh, try cube cutting you will still get a cooler slower smoke than rubbing uh, a flake out uh, just not quite as cool and slow as smoking it in either whole flake or, or strand form uh, like that um, give it a shot let me know if it works for you um, I, you may have to try it a half a dozen or more times. I did. Uh, it took me a long time. It took me even longer to learn to stack coins, but that is an entirely different subject, and we won't get into that right now. Right now, we will part for the afternoon. <coughs> have no idea what he's barking at, and neither does he. Light something you like. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>